Hello and welcome to NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Ochsner. 2017 is quickly coming to an end, so we thought it was a good time to take a look at where we stand with some of the key issues the cattle industry has faced throughout the year. Joining me now is Kendall Frazier, CEO of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Kendall, thanks for stopping in and giving us some insight today. You're welcome, Kevin. You know, tax reform is a top issue for NCBA. Tell us where we stand on this issue. Well, we have both houses of Congress, both the Senate and House, who are working on legislation and trying to advance legislation and get something passed by the end of the year. Our priorities in working with the Senate and House committees is to get the state tax eliminated. That's a huge priority for us. And also to maintain some cash accounting and accounting rules that are very important to agriculture. So we're engaged with the committees and the appropriate legislative bodies, and we're protecting the interest of cattlemen. Outstanding. You and I have talked a lot about waters in the United States over the last couple of years. Give us your update there. EPA has withdrawn the proposed waters of the United States rule. So they withdrew that, basically killed it. So we're working with EPA to make sure that if we advance something different to define waters and waterways and things like that, that it does not hurt agriculture and does not restrict private property rights. Some, some good wins there, but still work to do, right? That's correct. So tell us about some of the other critical policy issues the Washington, D.C. office is working on now. Kevin, we have our staff in Washington, D.C. focused every day on protecting the interest of cattlemen. We're working on tax issues, we're working on trade issues, we're working on environmental related issues and private property rights, and issues that would impact public lands ranchers. Now you recently had a, a little meeting at the White House. Uh, tell our viewers about that. I did. The president uh, invited uh, the CEOs of trade associations and corporations to the White House to talk about cutting regulation. That's been a high priority of this administration. Mm -hmm. That's something we very much support. So I had a chance to go to the White House, and uh, it was a very interesting event, and uh, we were able to give some input in it. That's outstanding. And I uh, also wanted to ask uh, about international markets. Uh, what is NCBA doing to ensure access and, in fact, broaden access to these important global markets? Well, we're playing defense and offense both. Uh, by offense, we were able a few months ago to get the China market opened, and we're working on access when countries around the world from a defensive standpoint, we continue to work with the administration to stress to them the importance of the free trade agreements that we have. The North American Free Trade Agreement, which is worth about $2 billion in sales for the U.S. beef industry every year to Canada and Mexico, and the Korean Free Trade Agreement. Uh, the administration has said they want to negotiate both agreements, and they're in the process of doing that with NAFTA right now. And we want to make sure that in any of those negotiations that there is no harm done to the U.S. beef industry. Well, certainly a critically important issue. And I do have a few more questions for you when we come back.